<laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Sorry, you kids. You might edit that sorry. out. I will not yeah, edit that out. Edit no, that no, out. I will not. Stop it. No, you watch. Things are just falling. <laughs> so they said it was a five minute walk. Maybe we would have been there if we hadn't known where we were going. I'm just... Do you want that? <laughs> Do you want that? Well, I could go find someone for you if you like. Well, let you know how that one pans out. I don't think it's going to pan out real good, but anyway. <laughs> oh, I need we'll to see. shut him up. <laughs> I've been gone 10 minutes and I can see you've done heaps. Oh, yeah. What have you done? Uh, turn the camera on. That would have took 10 minutes. It did. Good, eh? It actually did. It's because I had to put you to bed early. You were a bit unruly last night. Oh. Very unruly. It is a really nice area to ride in, all through the farm and land. And... Okay, so we decided, no, we don't like fucking shepherd. It's too big for us. In the boat. <laughs> There was one incident on the way over, very bad incident actually. But there is something else very exciting about this place in there, boat. Kim's oh, wrapped. You're you know, not telling I, the story. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing, mate? Why? Why? Why uh, is this? Any particular reason? People here. <laughs> Now my wheels in motion and my windows open with the wind blowing in my hair. I'm driving down the highway, gonna do this my way. I can feel it in the air. Here I go. Welcome to chapter 29, guys. This is where we left off, just arriving at our motel in the beautiful Yarrawonga. We're going out for tea tonight, aren't we, babe? Yep. <laughs> well, we do every other night on all A's, isn't it? Mm -hmm. yep. <laughs> this is Yarrawonga. Oh, where... look, you've got the time and the temperature. Yeah, 6'11", right and it is 22 degrees. Yep. So, and it's a bit breezy, so that means the chill factor is a little bit down. Although, we are still in shorts, aren't we, sweetie? Yeah, don't show my legs. Haven't you shaved them? <laughs> no. What? Give us a look. <laughs> oh. They're white. Now you guys know what I've got to put up in bed every single night. Four Wells Files, we got KFC and we've got McDonald's, haven't we, babe? Yep. It is a Tuesday night, just remember that, guys, so we might not succeed in this little expedition. Well, Tuesday That's what night... We'll call it. Isn't Tuesday night normally palmy night? Oh, fuck, I hope it's a cheap yeah. palmy night. Yep. Boy, Oh, I would like a steak, though. Don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Yeah. Like I said, this is the pretty little town of Yarrawonga. We have not rode up the main street. We'll, we'll give way to this little kid. We've not rode up the main street yet. But that's OK. We'll do that tomorrow, I reckon. Won't we? Yep, we will. We've been advised to go to the information centre and see Helen. I do not want to go and see anyone named fucking hell. I can tell you that right now. Well, that's her name, I'm sorry. not... Well, old Rusty will not be going to the information centre to see no one, OK? <laughs> yep, but... If anyone knows me ex-wife's Helen, she's nothing but a fucking bitch. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry? Sorry, You kid. might edit sorry. that out. I will not yeah, edit that out. Will. No, no, I will not. Stop it. No, you watch. What are they doing here? Oh, fucking things are... Things are just falling. Sakes. <laughs> <laughs> Poor a, old Kimmy. What the hell? Hey, you be able to saw him, babe. <laughs> what me? Right, so we're just about up the main street, aren't we, babe? There's it's Kmart. Pretty what? Interesting street. Why is that? Because it looks they've got EG fuel, Kmart, yeah. Woolies. They've got a Kmart hub. That's a smaller Kmart. Yes, Kmart it is. hub. I never knew that. Yes, <laughs> oh, I had to explain that, didn't I? We're looking for a pub. Not for alcohol, no. We've got plenty of alcohol at home. 
Yeah. We are um, looking for a pub for food or well, a restaurant or something. I don't know if we've got plenty of alcohol because I locked you in. <laughs> well, that's your own fault. That was your own stupid mistake, yeah, wasn't it? Let's go. Watch out, babe. Watch out, babe. <laughs> she, she can run when she has to, can't she? Well, look at this. This is Yarrawonga, guys. What is it? I oh, know. Some of you have probably said Yarrawonga Fish and Chips looks awfully busy. Huh. Doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's good, good, good reviews. It has got good reviews. Yeah. Should we go there? I don't know, but you want fish and chips at a Chuka. Well, why can't I have them at two places? I don't know. Why can't I have my cake and eat it too? Because then you'll be judging. Oh, Rusty would never be judgmental. Never, ever be judgmental. Yes, you would. What's this place? Motel. Motoring. We could have stayed out in the middle of the town. Fucking hell. What the fuck? Okay. I wasn't in charge of booking the motel. People. Have a look at this, guys. Have a look at this. Well, that, that's nice, isn't it? That whole building there. That is good. It tells you it's 20 past six. So they said it was a five minute walk. Yes, yes. And they... how long have we been walking? Well, only about five minutes, babe. But we haven't got to where we're going to go. Well, we don't know where we're going, that's why. Maybe we would have been there if we hadn't known <laughs> where we were going. <laughs> I'm just saying. My God, we sound like idiots. Yeah. It's not a bad little town. Albeit it's a bit quiet, isn't it? It is. It is a Tuesday but night, though, isn't it? I can, I can it? smell food, so we've just got to go and find it now. Yeah, now that's true. Yeah. We're coming up to a pub up here, I think. Seen one already, but a bit dear for old Rusty and Kimmy. What about you? You hungry? No. No? Why I've not? been forced to come out here and have, you know, a lot of everything. That's the biggest load of shit I've ever heard. This is our hotel. Do you call it dinner? What is it? Hotel... Hotel Yarrawonga. Yarrawonga Hotel. Oh, Rusty would have been happy with fish and chips, but no, uh, not allowed to have fish and chips. Kimmy's here. It wasn't allowed. Didn't you? Yeah, you've got to get a grip sometimes. You can't have fish and chips three nights in a row. Alright? So Just I mean, get a grip. When did we have fish and chips last? Um, I can't remember, but you want to have it two well, so, times. So you're saying I had it three nights in a row and you can't remember when no. I had it last? You wanted it tonight, then you wanted it two times more at a Chuka, Wednesday and Thursday. I think she's talking about sex now. Do you want that? <laughs> Do you want that? Well, I could go find someone for you if you like. If there's an offer someone can't come, can't bloody refuse, isn't it, eh? Yeah. Hey? That's it. What do you reckon? That's a good offer. You don't get that too often, do you? I don't get that too often, really. Well, you know how that one pans out. I don't think it's going to pan out real good, but anyway. <laughs> oh, I need we'll to see. shut him up. <laughs> so what is it we got, babe? Um, Yarra bread. What's it got on it? Uh, bacon, sun-dried tomato, cheese and pesto. Oh, olives. That's your middle name, pesto, pesto. And olive. And olive. It's Popeye's wife. Olive. That's mm. pesto, you're on me, mate. Why? Because I'm a pest. I don't want to piss you off. <laughs> you don't like it. It's real nice. Mm. We just started it. I don't know. What do you got? Can't review it yet. What do you got? Salad, chips, and uh, topical palm. Hawaiian palm. Yeah. <clears throat> Salad's nice. Yeah, the salad, the dressing is very nice, isn't it, eh? Very nice indeed. I'm saying it's nice, and I just ate an onion. Rusty's got the same. Mm. Hey, Kimmy, what did you think of that oh, meal? Oh, that meal. The Yarrawonga Hotel. What did you think? We didn't go there, we went in here. Don't lie to everybody, Kimmy. <laughs> It was outstanding, really. Wasn't oh it? my God! The it was size so of the nice. snitty. Uh, we had a Hawaii, yep. no Hawaiian palmy, sorry. The salad and the chips. Mm. The size of it, unbelievable. Even old Rusty couldn't eat a raw harlot. He did eat. Well, it, you but, did. Yes. Yeah, but I struggled. I can I tell you that now. Mine. Yeah, so not a bad meal there at that pub. Would you go back there? Oh God, yeah. Oh God, yeah. Yeah, yeah, nice. No, it was. It was Big extremely meal. nice, guys. The salad was so nice, fresh. It was, was actually, yes. The salad yeah. was beautiful, and the dressing they had on it. Mm, that was nice. Good morning, everybody. Now I've sent Rusty for coffee. Hopefully, he's coming back with the goods. Oh, here he comes. 
Look at him, isn't he a good little man? Look what I get for my woman, eh? Yes. It might not good to her on the road or what, eh? I don't know why I've got these glasses on now. <laughs> all the way up to Mackers with them on, I couldn't see a fucking thing. I thought I picked up my sunglasses. <laughs> but what the hell's going on there? Uh, so I can see, I've been gone 10 minutes and I can see you've done heaps. Oh, yeah. What have you done? Uh, turn the camera on. That yeah, would have took 10 minutes. It did. Today. It actually did. Yeah. <clears throat> Figuring out how to turn it on before I record. And pyramid of cans there, Rusty's had a good old night. No, and Rusty so hasn't. Rusty's got little babies left in here still, so Rusty's really looking forward to tonight. Well, that's <laughs> sad. Pull up. Why? If you've got babies left, that is sad. That means he hasn't drank much. It's because I had to put you to bed early. You were a bit unruly last night. Oh. Very unruly. <laughs> put me to bed about 8.30. <laughs> Earlier than that, guys, don't you worry. Uh, I'll lose track of the time, but I've had a few to drink. Yes. OK, so we're just leaving our damn fine accommodation for the night, aren't we, my dear? Yeah. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Just watch these bumpy things here. We're going to go straight across, OK? Oh, OK. Come up the main street. Hey, okay, guys, so you're soon as walk up the main street last night but this is the main street on the bike in the babe. Don't know how much of shops are going to be open. These small towns don't open until about 10. <laughs> yeah well your yeah. vinnies aren't even going to be open. We don't know that yet. <laughs> <laughs> he wants to go to vinnies guys. <laughs> there it is there. It opened. Is it? That's a shame. We'll have to come back there now. Oh it's a fucking shame. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, one on the right just back here trying to come through. The one behind me? Yeah. Trying to cut through the centre and then yeah. realised, ooh. So, this is Yarra Wonga guys, as I was saying. We're heading off to Echuca for two nights and then sadly it's the boat. Yeah. Isn't it? Yeah. But anyway. That'll make a lot of people happy. It'll make a lot of people happy to watch us on Facebook and that. They think it's about time they went home. We got sick of seeing them on holidays. Yeah. But hey. We only get holidays once a year, don't we? I know, it seems like we're on holidays all year, but we're not really, are we, babe? No. We wish we were. Yeah, fucking no. But it is a nice morning. It's only about 12 degrees out at the moment. It's only got a... We're about 16, 17 here today. But they're not forecast any rain, so we're hoping that stays the same. <clears throat> we'll take you across the bridge, take you across the lake. We will. Oh, you're serious? We're not going back to Vinnie's? <laughs> no, we're not even going this way. We don't even go out this way. Oh, right. I thought we did. No. Nah. Oh, I'm just right. taking you across on the sightseeing tour at the moment. See the bridge, babe? Look. Yeah, right. Cool. Yeah, see? Oh, I thought you'd be happy with me. Oh, yeah, that guy was pointing to the bridge last night and I couldn't oh. even see it. Oh, I did try. It was me that was pointing to the bridge, babe. Not that yeah, guy. The the owner dude when he was talking about no he said cops. down the end of the main street sweetie oh he, when he was talking about the cops coming over the bridge playing yep. cricket that's right yes this is new south wales now babe yes oh look at all the nice houses over there yeah yeah this is where your clubs are over here babe Yarrawonga lies on the border between Victoria and New South Wales at the southwestern corner of Lake Malawa, where the lake passes through the Yarrawonga Weir and flows into the Murray River. Malawala, which is located in New South Wales, spreads along the western shore of the lake. The two towns are linked by a bridge over the mouth of the lake, being close to a substantial lake and famed for the fact that it gets more sunshine than Brisbane. The twin towns are now essentially a holiday resort and retirement centre. Before we go past that Vinny shop, man, oh, there it is there. <laughs> there it is there, babe. Oh. We park in the middle here. Then we've got to go back around. I don't know why. Don't pack too. Go, come back. No, I'm going back. I just want to straighten it up. <laughs> That'd be our first time. <laughs> That'd be our first time, babe. What was you going to say? Don't know what. Well, I've got to do this. Go to Vinnie Shops. So, we took you for a blocky of the Arrowonga. Now we are leaving. We are heading towards Shepparton Way. 
Uh, we're thinking we might have grab something to eat at Shepparton. We've only got to go to a troop today, so it's only about 150 odd k's away, something like that. So it's not very far at all. It is cool at the moment in the boat. Yeah, I've got my gloves on. You got your gloves on? Yep. Oh, that's a good thing then, sweetie. Better for Rusty's ears, Em. Those gloves. Gloves are whinging. I wasn't going to say that, but now you've said it, babe. I know. Watch out, we've got nipple strips here. Nipple strips. If you go fast enough over them, you don't feel them. You wouldn't have got enough speed up in that straight, would you, babe? <laughs> I can only do 80 <laughs> But anyway, as you can see, there's a fair bit of cropland out here, isn't there? Yeah, I don't know what it is, wheat, yeah, maybe? It's still at the um, early stages, not dying off yet, so a little way from harvesting yet, a bit of wheat or barley or something. That'd Had be it. something easy for me to grow. But, you know, you know, what, just we, chuck it in the ground and leave it? Yeah, and then it just dies. Yeah. Is, yep, good. We don't get a crop harvester in the harvester for you. I'm not going that big straight up. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> It is a really nice area to ride in, all through the farming land and just cropping land everywhere. Now look at this. As you find in Victoria a fair bit, all this sort of area. Nice and green and trees in the boat. Yeah, this is a big mother's arch. <laughs> is it? Okay. Yeah. I do you realise it's not a love's arch unless I say it's a love's arch? Yeah. Or are you changing is. the rules again? You're changing the guideposts again. <laughs> are you? No, there were no rules to say, I couldn't say it. Oh, okay. Yeah. Hey, how's this little town of Catamite? Um, I don't know what it's famous for. I might have to look it up and tell you. I reckon it's a farming community though. What do you reckon, Bo? Yeah. As all the communities are out here. And that building there, we don't know what it is. A church, probably, I reckon. Yep, Uniting Church. Yeah. You could see that from the other road. <laughs> yeah, we could see that it was coming in and we wondered what it was. Catamatite, a rural township in northern Victoria, is in the Murray Valley Irrigation Area and is 42 kilometres east of Shepparton. The name is thought to be derived from an Aboriginal word naming or describing a local creek. The township is on Buzzy Creek near its junction with Broken Creek. The Grain Corp Silos Art Project at Catamatite Painted by Tim Botel in July 2023, holds significant importance to the Lions Club and the entire community. The silos hold a rich history with memories of grain trucks lining up for delivery and grain transportation through the nearby railway line, which unfortunately no longer exists. Rock and roll boys, we're hitting Shepparton, aren't we? We are, yes, on the outskirts of it at the moment. We are. We don't know what Shepparton's like because um, I remember going there once when I was a kid, but that was about it. <laughs> That's a lot of years ago. Not that I'm that old, but I just remember it's a lot of years ago. So um, we're just going to call in here and have a bit of lunch. Then we're going to have um, a little brunch, actually, and then push on towards... Um, where are we going to, babe? The Chuka. The Chuka. Well... I don't know where the city centre is, babe. Well, that sign said down this way. Yeah, it did, yeah. So we'll just keep going. We'll just have a little look. Getting close because there's parking signs, like paid yeah. parking. <laughs> oh, that'd be bloody wrong. Right. Shepparton is a major rural service centre in the Goulburn Valley and the headquarters of the Goulburn Valley Irrigation System. The surrounding area produces fruit, vegetables, cereals and milk products. Once known for its fruit canneries, today it is a diverse regional centre with an impressive art gallery, a generally multicultural community which welcomes new residents, a wide range of excellent restaurants and a superb local park. The Victoria Park Lake Precinct. Red rooster up there. Okay. On our side? No, on the other side, I think, by the looks of that. Oh, so, if we, yeah, right. if we were to go up there, babe, yep. what do you reckon? Yeah, we can do. Go up that way. It's a pretty big place, isn't it? Yeah, it is a really big place, Shepparton. Can we get across there, babe? We can, yes. Drive through, we're not going through there, then. Nah, nah. We're going over here, though. Got the bottle next door, it was. Yeah. 
Okay, so we decided, no, we don't like fucking shepherd, it's too big for us in the babe. Yeah. Too big for our little country folk like us in the babe. Mm -hmm. Too many <laughs> so, lights. <laughs> and you've got to pay for parking, so we don't like that either, do we, babe? No. Nah. So we're going to go in here and we're going to have something. We don't often get red rooster, so, no. um, because we haven't we don't got it back home. Yeah, we don't have it, do we? No. Nah. So anyway. Well, guys, the, o the only bit of um, a shepherding you're going to see is us riding through it in the <laughs> boat. Yep. We're not doing anything here. We just stop for lunch. Too big for us in the boat. Oh, it's too big. Yes. We're only little country folk, aren't we, sweetie? Yep. We're, we're country folk at heart. Yeah, this is bigger than a country town, isn't it? It's a big country town. Anyway, look away. I'm just about out of town. But we will continue our venture on to a trooper, won't we, both? Well, we've hit the Murray, Murray Valley Highway again, guys. Only about 30 k's out of a trooper now. After our little detour into Shepparton, which I didn't think was worthwhile anyway. But anyway, what do you reckon, mate? Well, we had a feed, didn't we? Oh, we had a feed, yeah. And we're only taking our time today because there um, isn't that far to go from um, Yarrawonga, where we left this morning. So far, good roads. Country, a bit breezy today and a bit cool, but there is no rain. That's the main thing in the boat. That is it. Yeah. Which is unusual for Victoria. That's why we're up this part of Victoria at the moment still, boat. Yeah. Hey guys, we're pulling into Tongala. We've just popped in here to have a little a bow peak, haven't we babe? Yeah. We're still on the way to Echuca, we've actually turned off um, the Murray Valley Highway and um, come in here. Our history of murals in murals. Well, we're about to see if that's a case or not, aren't we? Yeah. So which way we go? This way? That quaint little town. It is, isn't it? Yeah. What we might do is hop off here in a sec and we'll have a little bit of a look, eh? There's an op shop. Oh, God, no. <laughs> <laughs> God, no, God, no, God, no. See if Kim can line herself up with this ones. She's onto it, isn't she, guys? Tongala is a popular stop for those on the Silo Art Trail. The array of murals in Street Art Plus, the new hay bale trail throughout town, will help you understand the history and culture of this little farm community established in the mid-1800s. Much of the artwork tells of times gone by from early settlers and portrays how Tongala looked in a bygone era. The old time country town feel will leave you relaxed and happy. Friendly locals welcome you with an old country pub, bakery and supermarket. Your options for lunch and or dinner are always open. Welcome to Echuca guys. We belong to the left we should be. Just on the other side of this one we should be. Here it is, up here boat. The red one? The High Street Motel next to the headspace. Okay guys, so uh, this is our motel for the night. In here. another night on the road but we only have a couple left now don't we babe sad as it may seem for us it's probably happy tunes for you guys because you won't have to put up with us for much longer a great ride today over from Yarrawonga to Echuca a little bit breezy roads really good a bit rough in cut places but not too bad were they yeah handling fairly good um called into Shepparton yeah not much air not much in Shepparton, so um, we just continued on, didn't we? Had a bit of lunch there. We can't get, really give you a review on that Shepparton because we didn't stay long. No. 
No, that's right. We we sort of got out of that town real quick. We didn't like it when we we didn't we couldn't feel the vibes when we pulled no, up, could we? No. Too busy. We, too busy for us. We just could not feel the vibes. So bang, country roads again, one about. Now the um there was one incident on the way over, very bad incident actually. Kim started reminiscing the holidays. For God's sakes, they're not over yet. <laughs> <laughs> Two, three days left still, and Kim's reminiscing the holidays on the way over. You know what a rusty told her. Shut the fuck up, Kim. You're not. What he said. Yes, that's exactly what I said. But um, all in all, not a good day. Very cool though day. Only oh, on the way over, it was probably when we left Yarrawonga, 11, 12 degrees, and when we pulled the bikes up, about 15, 16 here. What a Yep. So, a little bit cool. But there is something else very exciting about this place in there, babe. Kim's oh, wrapped. You're you know, telling the story. This, this is where Bob was born. <laughs> Bob was born here. Oh, Bob. my God. Bob was born here <laughs> in Archuka. In Archuka, <laughs> wasn't he? Hey, he was. And guess what? <laughs> Bob's had babies. <laughs> Is it? I'm telling you, oh is it God. baby Bob? Oh, oh, is it? <laughs> Bob's, Bob's had babies. <laughs> so, what do we call baby Bob? What? What do oh, we call him, God. babes? We'll call him um, Robo. Robo? He's the same colour as your shirt. Look, you could hide that there. Look, you can't even see it. You can't even <laughs> see it, babe. But, yeah, this is where Bob was born. We'll he was born in a chuka. Bob and Robo. He is an Achuka child, isn't he, he's sweetie? He's a chuka. Hey? Yes. But and anyway, his baby. He's enough baby. of the frolities. This is our motel for the night. Kim, very pleased about coming to a chuka because some <laughs> other. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing, mate? I'm putting them away. Why? Uh, Why is this? Any particular reason? People here. <laughs> She, she never gets embarrassed like that normally. But that's the bikes and this is our motel, like I said. We're just down from the, over the back of the main street. Number eight is ours. And this is our room here. What's going on? I don't know, I'm just doing a count now. I'm head count. Of what? Oh. Head count of what? What are you doing? A head count. Oh, OK. Now, old Chucky the Bride is still there. Look, she's looking a bit frazzled, but she's not going too bad. So. This is our abode for the night, in a boat. We've got a shower there. We've got the old shitter there. Yeah, hey man. Now she's got some perfume there. Kim's got all the kids and the adults out at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> Haven't ya? Yeah. So, Rusty could be in for some. Look, look at these guys. Which is the real ones? It's either a famine or a feast, didn't it? I've got another one. Hey, you've what? I think I have. What do you mean? Well, I haven't seen the other one. Oh, I have. Look at that. Baby. Baby ones everywhere. What are you using for, babe? Why oh, do you know. carry so many? Well, I thought one was lipstick. One was real lipstick. Well, the real lipstick, please step forward. Which one is it, guys? Because old Rusty doesn't know, but they look good. One is real and one is not. Which one's the real one, guys? Kimmy is very tricky. Well, I can show you the one that's real lipstick, I can tell you, mate. Oh, I can show you the one that's real lipstick. Oh, that's real lipstick. No, I carry the real lipstick one around with me, sweetie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is you that just right? Just don't go yeah. there. Hey, guys, got to go? No, she's been stupid now. Going to get me banned for sure. So, anyway, we'll catch you on the next vlog. We're staying here for two nights. Then we're hitting the road back down to Geelong to catch the boat. So, look out for us, guys. Now my wheels in motion and my windows open with the wind.